Meanwhile, U.S. President Joe Biden has signed a sweeping executive order that is aimed at what he claims is to promote competition amongst U.S. companies. The order includes 72 initiatives aimed at lowering prices and also increasing wages for the people. Biden has described it as another critical step towards an economy that works for everyone, asserting that capitalism without competition has no meaning whatsoever. Clear. Capitalism without competition isn't capitalism. It's exploitation. Without healthy competition, big players can change and charge whatever they want. We are now 40 years into the experiment of letting giant corporations accumulate more and more power. And where have, what have we gotten from it? Less growth, weakened investment, fewer small businesses. Too many Americans who feel left behind. Too many people who are poorer than their parents. I believe the experiment failed. Now, the move tackles corporate abuse, and as Biden has put it, big companies in agriculture, technology, and pharma are consuming their competitors rather than competing for consumers. He also further added that fair competition is why capitalism has been the world's greatest force for growth. The federal agencies have been asked to restore competition with the order that comes into effect with three goals. Lower prices for consumers, higher wages for workers, and more innovation and economic growth. Low wages caused by lack of competition are estimated to cost the median American household nearly $5,000 per year. The Biden's order pushes the Agriculture Department to act to stop what the White House has described as abusive practices of some meat processors. On prescription drugs, the order aims to lower prices for consumers by allowing import of drugs from Canada where they are much cheaper. It has also urged the Department of Health and Human Services to draw up a plan to increase supply of generic and biosimilar drugs. Amongst the measures, the order calls for greater scrutiny of mergers involving large tech companies. The plan also orders the Federal Trade Commission to establish rules on the surveillance and accumulation of data at tech firms. This is to ensure that small businesses are given a better chance to compete with large companies, restoring net neutrality rules. The order requires the internet providers to allow access to all services without any discrimination or unfair fee, mandating end to excessive inter internet contract termination fees. The executive order also establishes a White House Competition Council to monitor progress. Other measures include establish rules to allow hearing aids to be sold over the counter and to ensure more transparent disclosure of airline baggage fee and other ancillary charges. The policy also includes provisions to protect workers from being forced to sign non-compete agreements when starting a new job. Now, the U.S. Chamber of Commerce has issued a statement saying that Biden's claims are out of touch with reality since the U.S. economy needs both large and small businesses to thrive and not centralized government dictates. The department has pledged to vigorously oppose calls for government set prices, efforts to treat innovative industries as public utilities and also the politicization of the antitrust enforcement.